Look at all these fun books. Click on the book that you want to read. A bedtime story. This part of the book is called the Table of Contents. It lists all the stories that are in this book. Roy G. Biff by Glynis Campbell I met a boy named Roy G. Biff. Can you guess where he might live? On a rainbow in the sky, in a castle way up high. Well, he took me home last March, pointing out the rainbow's arch. All the colors that you see get their names, he said, from me. For I'm Roy G. Biv, he cried. Then he let me peek inside. See the stripes? the boy exclaimed. Match the letters of my name. <coughs> R is red. The roses wear it. O is orange, like a carrot. Y is yellow as a bee. G is green like a baobab tree. B is blue, a robin in flight. I is indigo, sky at night. V is violet, like the flowers. And all of them come out after showers. R-O-Y-G-B-I-V! Roy T. Viv then shook my hand. I must go. You understand. The clouds are moving from the sky. Time for us to say goodbye. So I watched him fade away. I know he'll come back someday. If you look where rainbows live, maybe you'll see Roy T. Biv. Peace Man by Mark Beckwith This is a story about the superhero Peace Man. Peace Man was dressed in a shiny gray outfit. He had long black hair with bright green eyes. His powers seemed to come from his eyes and the way that he spoke. Peace Man had the power to solve any problem, stop any fight, and make any two enemies become friends. But his powers did not seem to work on many people at once, but only on one or two people at a time. One day, Peace Man came to a school where there was a problem. A group of kids wearing blue jackets were yelling at a bunch of kids wearing black jackets. The black jackets were screaming too. They needed the help of Peace Man. Peace Man stepped between the black jackets and the blue jackets and said, Look at me and listen to me. Most of the angry kids looked into his eyes. Some even started to calm down. But just then, Tony, a tall boy with the blue jackets, yelled, Forget it! Zack, in the black jacket, shouted, Forget you, blue jacket! <laughs> peace Man turned his eyes toward Tony and Zack. Using his peace powers, he talked gently to the two boys. Soon, Peace Man got Tony and Zack talking to each other in a gentle way. After a while, both boys were laughing. Tony went back to the Blue Jackets and spoke to his friends. Zack returned to the Black Jackets and talked. It seemed that none of them could remember why they were angry at the other group of kids. They just learned to hate each other. <laughs> Now the Black Jackets didn't seem so bad to the Blue Jackets. And the Blue Jackets did not seem like bad kids to the Black Jackets. In fact, thanks to Peace Man, they all got together and formed a hockey team. They called it Black and Blue. The Friendship by Glynis Campbell There's no one here to play with. Timmy shouted to the sky. There's no one here to play with me. 
he muttered with a sigh. I think I'll build a rocket ship and fly out into space. There has to be a friend for me in some remoter place. <coughs> he rocketed to Mercury, the planet near the sun. But it was far too hot for friends, and he found not a one. Tim flew his ship to Venus. It was filled with poison gas. And Mars was far too dusty. So he piloted on past. He looked for friends on Jupiter. The planet was too big. Then he got caught in Saturn's rings and did a whirligig. And Uranus and Neptune had no friends on them at all. Pluto, furthest from the sun, was cold and bleak and small. So sadly, Timmy turned his ship and headed back for home. He'd found no friends in outer space, and still he was alone. But as he flew his ship to Earth, it bumped and rattled hard. It tumbled from the sky and crashed into his neighbor's yard. <coughs> and standing in the clearing smoke, he found another child. A boy building a rocket ship. Tim saw him and he smiled. I wouldn't waste my time, he said. No, not if I were you. There are friends enough on planet Earth. I'm Tim. How do you do? <coughs> Bedtime Story by Glynis Campbell Be careful when you read in bed, for I have seen it happen. I've seen a girl forget to close her book while she was napping. And do you know what happened as the wind blew through the pages? The girl fell into chapter one. Into the Middle Ages. Oh, she had great adventures, saving castles, slaying dragons, until she blew to chapter two with pioneers in wagons. And then while she was heading west across the blazing prairie, she stumbled into Chapter 3, where it was dark and scary. <laughs> a pack of witches in a cave were cooking up a potion when she escaped to Chapter 4 and landed in the ocean. A pirate ship came sailing by to pull her from the water. The pirate captain and drew his sword, but just before he caught her... She dove right into Chapter 5, where history would spin her into the claws of a dinosaur that wanted girl for dinner. But just before the nasty beast could clamp its jaws around her, the wind picked up and closed her book. And home is where I found her. <coughs> you may not be so fortunate if you don't heed my warning. So close your bedtime book tonight. You'll thank me in the morning. <coughs>